Hello guys, welcome back. There's a new update for Space Engineers. It's called Most Wanted because it adds the most wanted features from the community into the game. Or so they say. Anyways, it does add some cool blocks and I'm interested in one of them in particular, which is the small advanced rotor. Mainly because it allows me to build some new bank drives. Kind of like the one you see here. Just, of course, in small grid. And I think I can make it so simple that I can basically turn the respawn pot into a clang drive itself and then shoot it up to space. And that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. Alright, I just spawned in with the respawn pot here and the idea is basically to just grind down some of it, turn it into a clang drive and fly all the way to space. You really don't need a lot for that, just two small cargo containers, the new small advanced rotor, a script and gyro and a dream on control to control it. So I'm going to explain to you how it works while I'm building it. So as I said, what we need is two cargo containers that are connected by two rotors. One of them is going to be on our ship and the other one is on the rotors and we can move it by changing the rotor offset. Now if we put a lot of items into the moving cargo container, it gets really heavy obviously and we can push our ship away from it or pull it towards it with the rotor upset, depending on which direction we want to go. And then we just take the items back out again, and now the car container is super light, and we can just push it back out, or pull it in, depending on which way we want to go. In this case, we're going to put a lot of items into the moving car container, it gets super heavy, we pull our ship up towards it, and we take the items out again and push it back out. So step by step, every time we do this, we can climb up a little bit more, since we can do this 60 times a second, it's really fast. Alright, that's it. This is the whole clang drive. Everything is sampled. It's really just a car container, two of the new advanced rotors and another car container. And now I just have to put a bunch of stuff in there. I take the construction components, then load up the script, and that should be good to go. Alright, now I hope this actually works. I'm not entirely sure. Moment of truth. Oh yeah, it works. And that's it, we're officially in space. I don't know how long that took, but it might be a solid contender for fastest time to space. Oh, you can also use it to slow down, but basically just doing everything in exactly the opposite order. But of course, with only one thruster like this, it's, it's pretty tricky to get the speed all the way down to zero. Anyways, that's it. Apparently it is possible to get to space with only the respawn port and nothing else. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon.